Oh man, is this thing ever cool? Okay, first impressions, first impressions. This is this is 3D Universe's walk designer for Genesis 9. And let's uh, set that to interactive update so that uh, it uh, for mesh smoothing purposes. Oh, 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 before we actually start this, let's uh, set the base resolution of Genesis 9 to base resolution, not not high resolution. There we go. Okay, now, <clears throat> now we've got ourselves walking and we can alter this walk in many ways. And, you know, if, uh, you know, just seeing the, the selection of dials makes you possibly think that, that the, you might not be able to do much with this. <laughs> yeah. Guess again, uh, with these controls, you can really alter the type of walk. I'm going to use these controls to create a cyberpunk street warrior tough walk. And it's my first animation. And so I'm lifting the shoulders a little. I've set the, the posture to be more back setting. And now I can further work that posture with the head forward and back and keep the arms back and with less swing uh, but I'm going to keep the swing of the forearms because that just seems to look really cool with this. And uh, what, what I think is really cool about this, we've got all these different options. We can set different uh, included hand poses, which I think is really nice. You've also got walk presets that you can that you can pick from. But this whole session is recorded as you know, this is the results of what the walk designer has created thus far. And because we have this save settings box checked on the bottom, uh, when we reopen the walk designer, we're picking right up where we left off, which is really neat. And you can clear it at any time and start all over from scratch. And you can also completely clear the animation. So it's, it's really powerful and uh, now check this out. Add a little torso sway, and we got some serious attitude going on. It's that tough. That adds a whole new level of toughness to the, to the walk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cyberpunk Street Warrior Tough Walk. Not bad for a first try. Oh, and this is this is the maximum number of frames you can go, is uh, forty eight, which is uh, you know what zero through forty seven is because we count zero as a frame. So there we go, and I haven't yet discovered whether we can or not. Oh no, we got to use the tab. There we go. I haven't yet figured out whether we can add forward motion to these. I don't think we can, but I'm going to add a custom folder here, call it walk designer. And I'm going to name this pose, save this pose, cyberpunk street tough, a animated time range. Boom. There we go. Now, I'm going to adjust the forearms a little bit, uh, just in twist. I'm just going to twist the forearms. There we go. I may end up uh, bending the hands out a little too there. But I don't know. It's looking pretty cool. Okay update my pose real quick and let's uh let's quick give this an icon maybe not completely side view and uh yeah yeah right there <laughs> cool cool what does that look like an ira 
Yeah, neat. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be my new icon. Mike D, Icon Creator Pro, render the icons, boom, done. Awesome. Okay, and now let's uh, create a new Annie block. And I I went and put uh, to save the morph values <laughs> uh, just to demonstrate something. Uh, but the only thing I'm saving are the the uh, <laughs> the little changes that I did to the forearm in the very first frame. Okay, and so so we're going to show why you really don't need to do well. And I tweak those those custom dials all the time. So let's bake this to the timeline and. See now, when I open the hierarchy and properties here, all of this stuff above the hip level is super superfluous. <laughs> you, it's it's unnecessary. It's, so you can just get rid of it. Um, you're always going to end up with the general translation keyframes in there. That's just uh, what happens, and and as long as you don't. Erase the one that's on frame zero, um, and as long as it's a proper um, uh, animation that uh, where the translations and rotations are controlled by the hip rather than the the figure level, you're safe to remove those. But now I'm creating a new anti block without the the morph uh, dials included. And that looks good. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to bake it to the timeline because now we have more of a walk to, to work with. So I'm going to save that as my new pose. Get rid of these, these are those general ones I was talking about. I like to keep this whole upper area clean. That way, I when, I, when I'm working with my custom dials, I see all of their key frames there. Uh, that's just me. You don't have to get rid of them. You can leave them there. It's fine. Okay. Now we've got this new thing. Let's, let's, uh, I'm not working so much i'm not finished with a, a rosie nine yet just uh so i'm gonna load in rosie eight two five and the i didn't have the bone minion for genesis nine poses to genesis eight yet so i got that along with the uh the walk designer and this uh this new version of the Cyberpunk Street, the Cyberpunk Street 2025, is using one of 3D Universe's, uh, one of those magic text tops. Create a new subfolder, and I'll call that one Walk Designer. Yeah, the, the magic... The message shirt magic camisole. That's what it's uh it's been edited, but okay. Now we've got our our new bone minion on there. These extra keyframes at the end are just uh there as a placeholder for me. Those are muzzle flashes for the guns that are currently invisible that she holds in her hands, and I've sped this up where we're going through the the bone minion transfer of poses from the bone minion to Genesis eight. It takes a little longer than that, but uh, it's totally worth it. Look at these great conversions that it does translations. I should call it very nice. And of course I'm, I'm going to have to tweak on the arms a bit for this one. Uh, But that's all right. And I think I, I am going to uh, bend those hands 
it see it seems to be even more pronounced on Genesis eight. And then these are my my you know a couple of my little custom hand poses that work really nice for they're actually just a, a relaxed idle uh hand pose, but they work really good for you know kind of she's ready to grab those pistols at any second kind of pose as well. There seems to be a, a little bit of a a bumpy in there. And I think that that might be just purposeful. That might be just her landing on her foot. It's looking cool now. So I'm just going to not raise any alarms and wait until I get it rendered. So a lot of people ask about this. We uh, delete exchange files, restore default values. This is uh, virtual world dynamics cloth and hair. And then we uh, go with dynamic morphs and use the Genesis 8 preset. And that that's all sped up too. That's going pretty darn fast, but it's it usually doesn't take very long. And you're always gonna end up with a, a bad keyframe at the end. They warn you about that in the manual. It's just one of those things. And if if uh, if you don't, if you can't live with that, all you really have to do is add an extra frame to your timeline before you uh, before you run that simulation. But it, it never bothers me that the last keyframe. I just delete it. <laughs> yeah, and also normally I'm working with a thirty frame buffer, uh, and I'm not this time. I'm just trying something out and. Uh, I know that I've closed the walk designer, but uh, part of my first impression weighs heavily on uh, how well it works with the figure that I'm working on, working with at the time. And so I copy that, the name of that pose and paste it onto this one. And now we're, we're uh, simulating the, the 3D universe camisole top that she's wearing before I add the hair. And so now I can add her hair. Um, that's got uh, collision collision helpers on it that would they would really mess up that top. So I, I do that first. And this is sped way up. That's really fast compared to I gotta say, RTX makes it go much faster. Here are our results. And uh, hey, these are my first impressions. I hope you enjoy the video and you have a great day. <laughs> what a blast. <laughs>